Alright guys, what's up? The songs are on random, I don't know what's going to be playing in this video, so... If you guys hear some weird shit, you hear some weird shit, but... I just realized I do not have that much time before work, and I need to get these these two concentrators done, because... These guys really need to be put in parchment paper for me. I'm having a fucking... Annoying time getting some of these dry butters onto a probe, so... I've been holding out so you guys can see the full textures and everything, so... This is for you guys, me sacrificing all my patience. But here we go with some honeycomb. Uh, this is an indica dominant strain not specified. Uh, honeycomb butter. Uh, it is very, very um, uh, dark when clumped together. Uh, as you can see, it's in a container. There's two and a half grams in here. Um, here, I'll hold it like that. There's, you can see the big nugs that got shoved in the container. Um, uh, the nugs are very dark. Uh, when I was looking at it in the in the shop, it was really, really dark, and I smelled it, and it smelled nothing like I thought it looked until I brought it home and looked at it under the light. And when you see here these little powder crumbles, how they're orangey yellow, uh, that's honestly what it is, the, the true color. When this spreads thin, it's a really nice um, orange-yellow color. It's really, really pretty when it's not clumped together. Um, clumped together, it's got that dark, earthy, sativa look. Um, really, really muddy, but... Uh, in reality, it's actually nice and blonde and orange. It's got a really, really, really pretty color. Um, and I think in contrast to it in the container, you can really see. But it's it's a lot lighter than it is. It's really, really crisp and candy-like in flavor. Um, I really think it's an OG or a perp because of the sweetness. It's extremely sweet. Um, when I was looking at it, I thought it was an indica. Um, but then I smelled it, and it smelled really, you know, it smelled really cushy. And um, it wasn't until I smoked it that I confirmed that it was definitely cushy in flavor. Um, almost sweet like a perp. Maybe a perp and uh, OG Cross. Like a purple kush maybe. Or a, uh, you know, something along those lines. Because it's got a sweetness and a citrusiness that's not um, really common of a pure purple. But um, this stuff is very, very potent. It's very indica heavy. Uh, goes right to the mind. Um, and it's very dry and dense and it's honeycomb as they call it you can see the pits from the whipping the hot plate whipping it's all honeycombed out all throughout um, there you can see in there all the pores that's that one chunk I like to took out take out because it really makes it seem like a honeycomb you have uh, all the butter on the outside and you break that one chunk off in the inside and just all the bees come out you feel me so this is a really really nice honeycomb butter uh, I don't know, I, I don't really use that term that much because I just kind of consider all butters potentially honeycomb if you break them up the right way. But hot plate whipping is essentially the best way to get this honeycombness because it'll sit on the hot plate and the butane will seep out and leave the, uh, the crevices behind as the butter hardens at the same time. So this is a very, as you can see, the yellowness and the lightness of it really coming through when it's broken off. Not at all as dark as what it looks like in this container. Um, ultra stable as well, really dry powdery, not, um, not any uh, moisture residue left in the container. You know, sometimes it'll leave like a little bit of oil on the sides, or not necessarily oil, but it'll look like, I call it the concentrate juice, it's just like a little juiciness that leaks out of the sides. None of that whatsoever in this. Um, that's just from being pressed against the plastic. But as you can see from the bottom here, if any juice would have formed, it would have came up right here where that gap is. And uh, there's nothing. It's dry to the bone. So great whipping and purging coming out of LBC now. Uh, someone told, told them what's up. Maybe they listened when I told them. I, was, I don't know. I've said it a couple times. They should whip their shit better. I've listened to you guys. I've let them know. I'm sure someone really let them know because I don't really fucking like to tell them. I like to suggest. It's always about being polite in somewhere. You know, don't bite the hand that feeds people. Oh no, I just tapped something and the concentrate fell off. Ah, you guys can see my frustrations. This is why I hate butter. Oh, I'm gonna get a little stand. Fuck this shit. Ridiculous. What would I do if I didn't have that? I'd just be fucking getting all mad and stuff right now. Ugh, but hurry up, I gotta go to work. I gotta get faded for work. 
<coughs> All right, gonna be using the Illy again. I'm gonna torch it not on the table and then set it up, but yeah. I have it listed on my list as OG honeycomb. Uh, just because I, I feel it's like an OG ness. If not all OG, it's slightly OG. Um, just because of that citrusiness, it's got a really lemon flavor. Really lemony flavor. Cheers, guys. Honeycomb from LBC La Brea Collected. <laughs> yeah, really sweet. Really, um, really berry like in flavor with that OG ness. That's why I, I definitely have to say it's got some perfume in it. Now, after that, like, fourth or fifth hit, I've been smoking it a bit, but not as much as the Blue Dream. <coughs> it's a lot more stony. <coughs> I've been saving the honeycomb for night. <coughs> but right now, um, it's definitely got some perfume in it. It's really, really um, purple in flavor, um, the sweetness. There's that really lemoniness, too. Uh, the candy lemoniness, not the musky OG. <coughs> Really uh, citrusy, uh, mixed in with the perp. It's an extremely sweet concentrate. Uh, when you smell it, it smells like a harbor or a beach. Honestly, uh, in the container, when I pulled it out, that's what I—that's why I bought it. Cause it said honeycomb. I'm not really into buying concentrates that they don't know what they're made from. But uh, this stuff, just by the smell alone and the look, it, it, I couldn't pass it up. It smells so sweet and um, nice. It just takes—it just makes me feel good smelling it. So. Um, the aroma when you smoke it stays with you for a, uh, for like five ten minutes. I just feel so nice when I smoke this stuff. It's such a good relaxer. Reals cal really calms you down. Just enjoyable all the way around. So the concentrate's been getting phenomenal. I can't say it enough. I'm gonna show you guys Big Mikey's. Uh, Big Mike got some of the more unstable ones because uh, I got these ones, the more stable ones, because you guys bitch at me to get stable ones. But uh, Big Mikey got the more unstable ones, so um, he's got a little bit of wax, some Blue Dream, actually the same strain of Blue Dream, just not buttered, it's still uh, wax, or it's turned into wax, and then there's a peanut butter OG wax that he got as well, so you guys will be seeing those after these, all of these are going to be jumping the line, so you guys can go down and get them if they're still there, they go through them quick as hell because they have a fat hash bar, but uh... And there's people like us that buy fucking five grams at a time. And eight at a time, so get down there quick. I'll put these up within the next couple days. So they should still hopefully be there. But I hope you guys liked them. I'll see you guys later. Peace and pop.